Okay, so here we're going to take a look at angles and sides of a triangle and how they're related. Basically, if you're giving a list of 120, 30, and now let's mix that up a little bit. Let me go 110, 40, and 30. I want to give different angle measures here, and this is what I used with uh, Roy the other day. And then I have 5, 8, and 12. I, I, I'm not sure if those that ratio of sides would, would actually work out, but I, I'm just going to use it as such. Um, the idea here is if you're looking at a triangle and you're placing angles, let's just place the angles first this time around. We'll put the 110 here. I, I understand that's not obtuse angle. Actually, let me use this as the obtuse. Uh, maybe this looks more like a 40 and this is the 30. There is a relationship between the angles and sides. And what you need to evaluate is, okay, where is my biggest angle? And that needs to be related to my biggest side. So the bigger the angle is, the bigger you make this, right? We continue to widen this side here, here. The more you continue to widen, the longer this side becomes, right? Each time you got a longer side you're dealing with. So if 110 separates these two sides the most, then the distance of the side opposite that angle here needs to be the longest side, 12. And then the same idea goes for 40. So 40 and the middle length side here Actually, let's go back and look at, we'll look at the small. So the smallest angle here, which means the smallest angle is separating these two sides the least. Therefore, this side here needs to be, nope, needs to be the smallest. And the same goes for 40 uh, when you're placing the 40. And that's, that's going to that's gonna be your 8 here. Now, same goes if you're given a triangle and you're given the you're given the sides first let's say i give you the sides 12 10 and uh, 5 and i'm saying you have angles mm, 80 70 and 30 and you're placing these angles in the appropriate places well if you want to know where to put the biggest side find or biggest biggest angle find the biggest side so here we have 12 is your biggest side that's going to be your biggest angle and you could continue to do that same same idea second biggest angle find the second biggest side this is where your 70 is going to end up and then find your smallest angle find your smallest side that goes here um, and if you're given a problem like this where it says okay this is 110 degrees and you have sides 4.5 3.2 and 8.5 know that 110 no matter what has to be your biggest side so if you're going to connect these two sides and make a triangle out of this well then the 3.2 and the 4.5 have to be the sides of that angle that's the idea the two smaller sides will have to be the sides of that angle because that what that will leave you is it'll leave you the 8.5 as this third side if you were ever to create a triangle out of that. So this is kind of your idea of angle and side relationships of a triangle.